Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. I'd like to uh, introduce Miss Casey Kilpatrick Beard, Baird, Baird like Baird Road. Councilman Butcher. Here. Councilman Jackson. I'm here. Councilman Green. I'm here. And Councilwoman. Conference and special meeting Monday, September 9, 2024, and the City Council meeting Tuesday, September 10, 2024. Does any council member have any award recognition or extinguished guests not to exceed 15 minutes? Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. I'd like to uh, introduce Miss Casey Kilpatrick Beard, Baird, Baird like Baird Road. It's hard for me to say Casey Kilpatrick and add the Baird because we went to high school together, so I've known her just as Casey. But she's with Go Bags of, uh, of Louisiana, and it's a very interesting uh, uh, nonprofit that she heads up, and it's got a very interesting story. But I just thought it'd be nice for us to uh, kind of hear what she's doing and how she's impacting not just uh, Louis northwest Louisiana, but the whole state, and now she's even going over into Texas. So, Casey, it's floor's yours. Casey, okay. tell them what district you live in. I'm right outside of um, Top of the Taylor's District A, but our <laughs> warehouse is in District A. Um, I'm in Blanchard, so. Good. That's okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, I grew up in Broadmoor. So I'm not sure whose district. Oh, thank you, Mr. Talaferro. Thank you. And that's actually where I started, Go For Kids Project Go Bags. Um, I have always wanted to be a mama, and I finally was able to foster and then adopt the two children that came to me in protective custody of foster care uh, right off of Carroll Street in um, District C. But when they arrived to me from Webster Parish, and that's how it works regionally as they go back and forth because there's always not enough foster parents um, there was a meth pipe in a Dixie bag that came with my two toddlers that had been um, criminally abused and criminally neglected from their biological people that couldn't do better. Because trust me, I think anybody would do better if they could do better, but whatever reason, they were incapable. And upon that rescue, there was the meth pipe in a Dixie bag, and I got hot mama mad. And as Grayson knows, that is my temperament, <laughs> is I've got to do something about it. And I started telling everyone about what happens whenever kids are rescued, that everybody there is just trying to secure the perimeter, take care of the adults, get them where they need to be, make everything safe, get the kids where they need to be. And some of the things that fall through the cracks are some of the basic items and necessities that children need. And that's how Go Back started, is from that need. Um, I started just from the back of my car, um, had developed it out from there, and it's now in 64 parishes part of East Texas and South Arkansas. One of the things that I have not done is ask y'all for funds, an NGO. Um, we have done that for, um, for Caddo Parish Commission, and I would like to ask for funds and support that so I can make sure the Shreveport um, Police Department, who's also here today, if they don't mind standing up behind me, just lend their support that they would like some go backs. They're, they're pretty quick. They stood up. But anyway, that's why I'm here is because I would like to be able to give them their own set of go-backs. Um, who I've partnered with before is Department of Children and Family Services and the State Police. And that's from I got a grant from losing a commission on law enforcement that I could not have done that without them. Um, in 11 years, we've served over 17,000 children. But I do feel that there are a lot of children that are not receiving these backs that Shreveport Police Department and Caddo Parish Sheriff's Office would would like their own bags, and that's why I'm here today, to let y'all see what they are. I did start out as little bitty toiletry bags, and then now, as you can see, they're about a Santa sex size full of everything they need for the first night. The black bags are for teenagers, and at the bottom it says B for boy or G for girl, and their size has everything in here that first night. It's a pillow, blanket, backpack, toiletries, note of encouragement, pajamas, underwear, comfort items, just everything that any child will need because the facts are these are children in crisis through no fault of their own. It is not political. It's not North Louisiana, South Louisiana, East Texas, anything. It's just kids that are coming from hard places in crisis that need these items. I have been very fortunate to have a collaboration um, with Caddo Sheriff's office and that we are in District A in that warehouse until that gets revamped for other issues. And we would like to be able to let y'all know who we are, what we are, who we help as the children of our community. And if y'all could so grant that support in any way, we'd appreciate it. 
Mr. Chair, real, real quick. Uh, Casey, I think that the, the most interesting part of this to me is, and we, we talk about this with Gingerbread House and Project Celebration, for us to make a real marked change in the city of Shreveport with our crime, we have children that are becoming criminals because they don't have a base. They may be taken out of a of a bad environment, and then they go, like you said, with a with a Brookshire bag somewhere with you know a few toiletries in it, and that's all they've got. But what you're doing to me, this gives them hope. I said a long time ago, I, I go into appraisals in bad neighborhoods, and when you've got a house that's burned up next to you, and another house burned up next to you, and you're really trying your best to go to school and do things, but then you see the crack dealer on the corner that's driving a brand new car. That's all you aspire to be. But with, with an organization like this, giving, giving these children that are in crisis that are either being taken away because of violence or mm -hmm. a crime has been committed or something like that, and if our officers had a bag to give them that said, here, we care about you, you know, it, it means something. I think the most, the, the most important part of what you said is just an inspirational letter that you put in all your bags right. saying things are going to get better, you know. Um, mm -hmm. I think that's important. So I thought it was important for you to be here today and kind of explain to the council because a lot of us, you know, didn't know what Gingerbread House did at one point or what Project Celebration <clears throat> did until we started educating ourselves, thus educating the public. So thank you for what you do, and I, I appreciate you coming up. I'm sure everybody else has had, got some questions for you. Unfortunately, I do know what they've done, and they've helped my children heal Gingerbread House. Same way with um, – I hope that no one – really has to experience that. But if you do, you can't unsee what you know. Right. Um, and the other thing is these are notes kids to other kids in their own language. And that if y'all are able to give these funds, it could be whatever kind of crisis they're in. It can be for a flood or a fire or a tornado or just lack, general lack. And we give that um, empowerment to the law enforcement officers to fix the need as they see the need which is what I think would really be impactful for to bridge those relationships as well. So thank you. I had the opportunity to go and um, work with Casey and when we were going in and then we were stuffing the bags and then looking at the content that goes inside the bag. And it's very comforting for the child who's in trauma at that time. Um, and just the number of people who actually turn and donate these items, you know, for these children, because whatever the traumatic situation is, is something in that bag that is forever comforting for them. It's something that they can take with them, something that they can hold on to that would, you know, yield a positive memory in, into a negative situation. So I appreciate all that you do for that. If you ever have a chance to go and help when she's you know, stuff in the bags, it's, it's, it's quite an experience. Next Saturday. So <laughs> just look us up on Facebook or the website. Um, it's all about dignity and it's about hope mm -hmm. and empowerment. Mm -hmm. And to be able to, you know, we can't say, you know, this generation needs to do better when we can't meet them more than Correct. halfway with a pack of underwear. Correct. We're talking about the very, very basics. basics. And it, mm -hmm. and the, you know, and mm -hmm. people don't take just good intentions. So that's where that's really important and powerful. Can you tell us again how we can reach you and get in touch with you? Um, on any of those platforms, is G-E-A-U-X, bags, B-A-G-S, dot com. I think we already have a pro proposal. Um, I think there are several council members that also have my information on Facebook as well. Casey, I give you my personal cell phone. I don't care. <laughs> whatever. Gets However it. you want to talk to me. <laughs> However you want to help me help children is great. Whatever gets it done, correct? Yes, sir. What is the uh, what is the average cost of a bag? Um, it's about one hundred and fifty a bag okay. for all the contents and the bag itself. It, it is canvas. If y'all like to feel it, I'd love to be able to take it around and let y'all see it and see how it's made. You can wear it, um, you know, literally as a see backpack, that. or even that with. I always feel Vanna whitish on this, but you know that from That's a nice. simple duffel. And in the bag itself has um, a backpack that so it's not so obvious. But it's just it's a huge pack for anything that they want to put in it as well, add to it. You know, there's other church groups that give different things to different places. Please then just add it in. Mm -hmm. It's really just home in a bag for some kids that have nothing. Got it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.